Now we've got the sum ifs formula, which allows you to sum a set of values if a certain condition is true. So we'll go over here, and you can see that we've got all these company names alongside their dates and sales and commissions. So up over here under month seven, we basically want to find out the sales amount. So the condition here is that if it's in month seven, we want to find the sum of those sales. So we'll go equals sum IFS, hit the tab key there, and the sum range to us is all of the sales. Control shift down, comma. The criteria range is all of the months. So all of these over here, control shift down, comma, and the criteria itself is the month. And we'll just hit enter there. And that works quite well for us. So let's take it up a level down below. Here you'll notice that the name Amazon is actually replicated many times, but with different endings. You can see that it's Amazon Inc., Amazon UK, EU, etc. But for our purposes, we would want them all together as they're all Amazon. For this, we're going to use the sum IFS formula again, but with a small variation. So we'll go equals sum IFS again, hit the tab key. The sum range again is going to be the same. Control shift down, comma. Criteria range is going to be all of the companies. So over here, control shift down, comma, and this is where it gets a bit different. We're going to select the name like we did before. So for Amazon in this case, but we said that the ending after Amazon sometimes seems to differ. So we're going to go ahead and add an ampersand. Then in quotations, we're going to add this asterisk over here, close the quotations, and then close the brackets and hit enter. This variation basically tells Excel to find anything that starts with Amazon. And it doesn't matter if there's something after that as well. Like and follow for daily tips.